and homomorphisms between groups is the fact that the kernel of any homomorphism is always a normal subgroup of the domain, and the image is always a subgroup, not necessarily normal, of the target group. So if we can list all normal subgroups of the domain and all subgroups of the codomain, that's all my possible kernels and all my possible images. And these lists tend to be fairly short, if we're lucky. So the dihedral group of the hexagon only has five possible normal subgroups. So there are only five different kernels that a homomorphism from D6 into any group, let alone A4, could have. So now let's start playing the order game with these. The orders of these normal subgroups in D6 are respectively 1, 2, 3, 6, and 12. Meanwhile, the orders of all of the subgroups in A4 are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 12. So how are these related one to another? And this is where the magic element comes in, the first isomorphism theorem. The first isomorphism theorem, remember, tells me that the factor group of the domain by the kernel, which is a normal subgroup of the domain, that factor group will be isomorphic to the image of my homomorphism. Factor group, isomorphic to image. So let's list out what are the orders of the factor groups for these various normal subgroups of D6. Using Lagrange's theorem, we know that the factor groups, the number of cosets that there are of this normal subgroup in D6, is just equal to the number of rows in a row by column table that we might make of the elements of D6 with one of these as our first row, which is to say that we just divide the order of the whole group by the order of this subgroup to determine the order of the factor group. So if my factor group, if, sorry, if my normal subgroup, my kernel, were trivial, then the factor group would have order 12 divided by 1, or 12. If it were this, it would have order 6, order 4, order 2, order 1. So now I have a list of all the possible orders for factor groups of D6 by its normal subgroups. And I also have a list of all of the orders of the subgroups of A4, which might be images of these homomorphisms. And the first isomorphism theorem says that any homomorphism between these two groups will be an isomorphism between the factor group and the image. And because we have finite groups here, an isomorphism between factor group and image implies that the order of the factor group will have to equal the order of the image subgroup. And so the only possibilities are those that match up the order of the factor group with the order of the image subgroup. So now I know for sure that the only possibilities are these four. A factor group that has 12 elements and an image that has 12 elements, i.e. A4. A factor group of four elements and an image of four elements. A factor group of two elements and an image of two elements. Or a factor group of one element and an image of one element. I cannot have a factor group with six elements because there's no image subgroup that could have six elements. I can't have an image subgroup of three elements because there's no factor group that has three elements. So now I'm able to rule out two possibilities. We can't have this normal subgroup, i r cubed, be the kernel of phi because its factor group, order six, doesn't have any order six companion to which it could be isomorphic as the image of that homomorphism. For the same reason, this order three image uh, subgroup of A4 cannot be the image of any homomorphism into A4 uh, out of D6 because there's no order three factor group that it could match up with. Okay, so what about 12 and 12? Could it be possible that the kernel is trivial and that the image is all of A4? Well, if the kernel is trivial, then that must mean that my, my function, my homomorphism is one-to-one. -one. Remember, one-to-one -one if and only if uh, kernel is trivial. But then, in this situation, the image has 12 elements, but A4 only has 12 elements, so it means that the image is all of A4. And so in this case, my homomorphism would be one-to-one, -one, but it would also be onto, and that would make it an isomorphism. Is this possible? Well, if it existed, then there would be an isomorphism from D6 to A4. They would be isomorphic as groups. But we know that these groups are not isomorphic because, for example, D6 has an element of order six, a4 does not have an element of order 6. So these two groups are not isomorphic. Therefore, we can't have a trivial subgroup be the kernel, and we can't have all of A4 be the image, because those two would have to go together, and if they did go together, we would get an isomorphism between these groups that doesn't exist. All right, so now we're starting to, to rule some things out. Let's go down to the bottom of the list. If the kernel were all of D6, that would mean every element from my domain is getting sent to the identity element in the target group. That would make my homomorphism trivial. And we can see that also because in this case, the image subgroup is also the trivial subgroup. So only the, the identity element is getting hit under that function. So that's my trivial case, but we're looking for non-trivial homomorphisms, so we should keep looking. 
In the case where the order of the factor group is 2 and the order of the image subgroup is 2, there is only one group up to isomorphism that has two elements. There's only one way to make a group out of two elements, and that is z mod 2, right? 0 and 1 with addition mod 2. Up to isomorphism is the only group of order 2. 2, after all, is a prime number, and every group of prime order is cyclic, and therefore is isomorphic to every other group of that same prime order. So it would seem that this is possible, um, and we should probably check to make sure that it works, but this seems to be a match, because there exists a factor group of d6 by this normal subgroup that is isomorphic to z2, and z2 also happens to be isomorphic to the image, uh, th this subgroup of a4. And to see what that looks like, here are my 12 elements of d6 arranged according to the normal subgroup that we have here, and then its non-trivial coset right, is down here. This is basically the subgroup that's generated by all my rotations of the hexagon, and then I have the coset that is all of the reflections of my hexagon. Right? And all the rotations are getting sent to the identity here. All of the reflections are getting sent to this non-identity permutation in this particular image subgroup, 1, 2, composed with 3, 4 in A4. So what the first isomorphism theorem says is that really both of these groups here, both the factor group of D6 by this normal subgroup, as well as the image subgroup of A4 over here, both of these are really behaving identically. And they're behaving exactly the same as the group Z mod 2. So this homomorphism from D6 into A4 doesn't hit any of these other 10 elements in A4. It only hits these two. Right? This is my image. Um, and it does so in a way that looks just like Z mod 2. So that would seem like it works. What we were saying here is we can find a copy of this factor group of D6 residing as a subgroup inside of A4. And so I do get a homomorphism. I can make a homomorphism do this. If I think lastly about this order 4 case, this order 4 subgroup of A4 is a Klein 4. It's not a cyclic group of order 4, but it's isomorphic to Z2 direct product Z2 because we can directly check that it has three elements of order 2 rather than only one, as the cyclic example of order 4 would have. So that, uh, that subgroup is isomorphic to Z2 direct product Z2. And so we're only going to be able to get a homomorphism from D6 to A4 that has this as its kernel if the quotient, the factor group of D6 by this normal subgroup, is isomorphic to Z2 direct product Z2. And we can check directly that that's the case. I think we also did this on another group assignment or maybe on a quiz. Right? Here is my uh, normal subgroup, I, R squared, R to the fourth. Here it's uh, three non-trivial left cosets that happen to be the same as the right cosets because it's a normal subgroup. And what this homomorphism would purport to do is send the subgroup to the identity element of the image and then send each of these cosets to one of these other non-distinguishable from one another order two elements in the Klein 4 subgroup of A4. So let's just make sure that this is behaving like the like the Klein group that we think that it is. Uh, what we, one way we could do this is just by sort of picking out a... Um, uh, sorry, let me get my head out of the way here for a second. Um, just picking out a representative from each of these cosets, let's say i, t, r cubed, and t, r cubed, those four elements of D12 actually do form a subgroup of D12, and that subgroup, D6, sorry, and that subgroup, when we write out its Cayley table, every element it has its square equal to the identity, and so indeed, this is the Cayley table for, yet again, the Klein 4 group, Z2 direct product Z2. Orders are 1, 2, 2, and 2. And so it would seem like this example works uh, the way that we wanted to also. And the first isomorphism theorem just says that both the image subgroup and also the factor group are behaving isomorphically exactly the same as the direct product of Z2 with Z2. So it would seem like we can build a homomorphism that does this as well. So we have a non-trivial homomorphism that has this as its kernel. We have a non-trivial homomorphism that has this thing as its kernel. And then there are, I guess, three other, um, no, two other image subgroups that also have two elements that we could have chosen here instead. So it turns out that the answer to whether there are non-trivial homomorphisms from D6 to A4 is yes. There aren't a ton of them. It turns out there's only four of them. Uh, there's three of them that use this order two uh, example as the, uh, three of them that use an order two image, and one that uses this order four subgroup of A4 as the image. But then that's it. So in the next video, I want to take a look at just a couple more examples of using this strategy to think about how the first isomorphism theorem arranges our thoughts about how many homomorphisms may exist from one group to another.